this is the this is the uh, also hang on yeah hang on one second yo. what's up guys how you doing today and welcome to another episode of just doing tools so I got your attention like comment subscribe and ring the bell because I want to make sure you guys are getting all notifications. Give me a sub. Why not? Let me make some. Let me make some money. I'm tired of being broke. Okay, hey guys, real quick, real quick. Leave in the comments below. Should I become a top don, a top don tool dealer? Let me know. They came into the store today, and we talked. And I want to know if you guys think we should sell top don. Okay, I'm here for you guys. If you think I should sell it? It's a big investment. But I'll do it. It's only money. I'll make more. So sorry about the mess because it's going to happen. Okay. There's no and there's no se top secret documents behind the bar today. I checked. I cleared out all the documents. They're in the in the garage next to my Corvette, locked up. Well, I don't have a Corvette. Joe. I don't have a Corvette. No, you got a Porsche. <laughs> I thought I saw an FBI <laughs> drive around the block. No Porsches here. Okay, listen to me. First, we're going to start off with the. Talk about today. We're, I'm going to talk about the whir wrench. I've talked about them before, but not on this, not in this uh, sequence. Sequence. This segment. 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 That's why Joe's here, because Joe's the smartest guy in the room. Me, not so much. There's a lot of companies that make ratcheting wrenches. The first company that made them was a company called Right Tool, and there were these big clunky things that did not work. They were absolute trash. But during the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, that's all we had. And then a company, a company called Gear Wrench, KD Tools owned them, came out with what we see now. And it's a, I met the guy that invented it, to be honest, which is, he's, he's, he's out of his mind. His name is Paul. That's all I'm going to say. Took me out to dinner. He wanted, he wanted to, he did, Joe, he offered me a TV show. Really? Yeah. He offered me a TV show, and I said no. My wife said no, actually. And the reason being because, she goes, have you ever watched... When we have family that's on a TV show. I'm not going to say the TV show's name, though. Maybe you can guess on the bottom. We have a, a friend, a family member who was on a TV show, and it didn't work out so good for them. And I'll leave it at that. Do you know who it is? I know who it is. <laughs> I think we went to his going away party, right? Uh, did you go? At Jamie's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. <laughs> well, it's a good thing, because now we have control of our own show, so... <laughs> <laughs> we'll just do this here. <laughs> All right. Where are wrenches? So these ratcheting wrenches, they really are a work of art and second to none. On, and I think they're better than any other one made out there. And I'm going to sit here and tell you why. I'm going to break it down. Okay. The first thing they did is they did a really nice job on the fit and finish of the wrench. It's satin finished. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it matches their logos on all their handles which is really nice it's a nice feature okay and what they did is they color coded everything this particular one here is i guess you'd call that blue right blue yeah so everything they make in 16 millimeter whether it's a wrench or socket is going to have the blue on it that's smart genius it, it's genius you can quote joe on that and like right here the 18 everything on the 18 is going to be lime green that's nice look at it and they went, and they also, what they did is they put a, a wrench stop on the back of it. So when you reach down on a fastener, it's not going to fall off. It'll stay on there. Okay. And they put, it's indexing. It's got, you know, 12 flat. It's like a, it's like a 12 point open end wrench. Nobody else has that, but they do. And now I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them the money shot. You already listen, listen, how, listen, you could barely hear that. You can't even hear it. You really can't. It, it is as smooth as a cat's whisker. Okay. Is that another quote? I have a lot of quotes, Joe. I'm make. I'm coming out with something new. Keep your eyes open. It's going to involve a lot of these quotes. I got. Did you hear, I got. A, I got a good quote this weekend. I went to Atlantic City with my wife. We were gambling, and uh, went down there for a, a race actually. But we wound up, you know, gambling, having a good time. And my wife goes. Man, we were, we were, them drinks were pretty strong last night. She goes, I went to the bar. I ordered a, a, a vodka cranberry. She goes, it was straight vodka. And then I had another. 
that's gonna be on a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put on her coffee cup for her. I thought it was pretty funny. Anyway, listen to me. Back to back to tools. So this set right here is $235. Yes, it's more than a, a basic gear wrench set because it's better than a basic gear wrench set. And it's better than a lot of other wrenches you will see out there. I mean, look at the fit and finish. Look at the quality. This set goes from six, no, from, I'm sorry, from eight to 19. And again, it's all color coded. Makes your life a lot easier. And they're in stock. And treat yourself to some good tools. Don't always look for the, I want the cheapest one they got. Get yourself something good, okay? Remember, if you had the opportunity to drive uh, a Chevy, what's a cheap, cheap Chevy? Equinox. It's cheap. If you had a, a chance to drive an Equinox, or say... Uh, Camry. No, nah, I want something better. Like, uh, a... a I don't want to say Porsches, but, you know, I'm always talking about Porsches. What's, what's, what's like, a BMW, a BMW. Try the BMW, it drives a lot nicer than the Equinox. I drive an Equinox. Oh, do you? <laughs> I like it. Chevy <laughs> runs deep. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's, it's, Chevy makes good products. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm a Ford guy. Okay. We had a guy come to the store the other day looking for, he was a pilot. Were you here for Friday? I was here Friday. Yeah. He was a pilot. Was he really? Yeah, nice guy. A, a, a couple came in, a guy and a girl, and very nice people. And it, she was, she was a very pretty girl, dressed perfectly, and the guy was very well dressed. And he did not look like a mechanic that I'm normally used to seeing because I've been dealing with mechanics for a long time. And I said to him, I go, is he a mechanic? She goes, no, he's a, he's a, he's a pilot. I said, oh, okay. And she had, a, she, and it was funny because she had a really nice jacket on. I said, oh, that's a beautiful Makata jacket you have on. She was, oh, how did you know it was a macage? I said, I have a bougie wife. I know exactly what a macage jacket is. Okay. But they were here. They were from Connecticut. Oh, yeah, they were. They were. They, they made the trip down from Connecticut. They were big fans. They And they were here for a while. They bought they bought some tools and they had a good time. If they're watching, shout out. I didn't catch your, I didn't get your name. I should have got your name. I did, but didn't get your name. Anyway. So they were talking about ratchets. They wanted, he wanted a quarter inch ratchet. And I said, well, which one do you want? And he's like, well, I don't really want the long one, but what else do you have? So I said, well, let me show you what we have. So I went, I, opened, I was opening, he said, don't open, don't open the box up. I said, that's why we're here. We're here to do this because you can't do this at Home Depot. You can't do this at Amazon, but you could do it at the store of JD Tico, or we'll do it here on TV for you. He didn't want the long neck. And I said, that's fine. I go, let me show you the options you have in quarter inch. I said, we have a quarter inch non-fuel ratchet, okay, which is a very, very popular one, okay. And these we are currently, I think this is our last one that we're out of stock, but they're usually, I, I, don't, I don't even know, I'm not even going to say what they usually are, okay? But I'm going to tell you the torque, because everybody wants to know the torque. That's 30 foot pounds of torque. And it's funny, I said to Joe, I said, hey dude, write down the, the torque specs on these. He goes, he comes back like five minutes later, he's like, when you say torque spec, is that the foot pound thing? And I was like, Joe, you've been here for two years, you should know this. Which Joe hasn't been here for two years. But he should know this. And now he does. Right? Right. So this is a quarter inch. 30 foot pounds of torque, and I'm not gonna give you a price because we don't have any. Okay, I think, did you use this for the intro, intro just doing tools? Yeah. It sounds familiar. Great tool. So we had one, I gave a price on this at the time because we had one at the time. And then I showed him the current, current generation of the quarter inch high speed ratchet. Okay, I'm gonna do a little zip zip. That thing's fast. It does the macar it does the macarena too, Joe. Put that in my intro. <laughs> so I showed him this, right? And he goes, Oh, that's nice, that's what I really like, blah blah blah. And I said, well, let, and I go, let me show you the high speed ratchet, uh, the, the new high speed long neck ratchet. Because I'm going to tell you why people buy it. People always bought this one over the first generation of this one because of accessibility. This had a big head on it and it was kind of bulky. So they were still buying these and we still do sell these. But this they, is a new high speed version of it. They made it sleeker and smaller and it's definitely better to get in tight spots and stuff like that. However, the long neck came out. And I said to them, I go, think about it. You're working on a car or whatever. You can get in any spot you want with this. 
and he was he works on he works on I mean, his his car he has a Miata and that's a very small car and you can get in any tight spot with it. So I was explaining it to him. I said, you know, it's not always about like you know you need this. I don't I don't need a long ratchet. You don't, but it, when you need it or you can use it, it makes your life easier. You can get in any tight spot with it. Think about it. Joe, take that out of my outtakes. I don't want people to think of uh, any bad ideas, bad intentions. So this one right here was we did a pre-sale on these and we sold a lot of them. And we we do have stock of the three. It's and quarter inch one, and I believe it's two forty nine for a beer tool, which is a fantastic. I think the price of this one, Joe. I'm messing up. Let me let me reiterate. This one here is thirty five foot pounds, and it's one hundred and eighty nine dollars for the beer tool. Just like you, well, this has a battery because I'm trying to do a demo. I should be crossing this stuff out. That's why I'm getting confused, you know? Okay. And then this one here is the extended one. And this one is $249. And these are in stock in quarter inch and three eighths. It's the same price. And get yourself one of these. If you have a current, if you have the high speed or the one before this, trust me, you will love this tool. Okay, enough ratchet. I'm, I'm, oh, enough ratchet talk, Joe. Let's move on to some more sexy stuff. The reason why I'm talking about this, we had a guy come in today. He's, he's, he's a regular. He, he works on stage sets, Joe. Stage sets. Yeah, big theater guy. Big theater guy. Our our cohort, Frankie, who is also going to his college for uh, to be a stage guy, is not here because why, Joe? Uh, he has the sniffles. Again. So, I don't know what you're doing, but... Don't do what you're doing, but do something else. And this is the 3 8 Zyklops Ratchet with a combo bit driver. And now this is going to take a little explaining to do. What they did here is they got their quarter inch Zyklops Ratchet, which is a beautiful piece. Okay. And they gave it this little handle here. And again, you got the flex, it's got the lock on it. So you can lock your flex head in, your uh, roto head in, right? And it's 3 8 And it's very nice. And again, Smooth, smooth, smooth. Now, the reason why this gentleman wanted to buy this ratchet and he bought it, he knew about it, so he came here, is because when you when you you when you're work building sets, you don't you don't have access to a lot of tools. You have to carry them on you. <clears throat> so this is a three eighths ratchet, right? But watch this. You open it up. And it's got all these little bits on here. Now you say, where do you put the bits? right there you can fit the bits right in there okay so not only is it good for three eight sockets but it's good for your bits also so again our friends that were are putting in work getting good products to you and this here is $99 and I know it's not cheap but if you want good wear quality loaded with features this is the tool for you and we have been selling these very well, okay? And again, I, their packaging is so nice, isn't it? They're it really, is. They really go out of, their, out of their way for packaging. Now, while we're talking about expensive quality tools, I, I have to talk about the Wara. They call us the bicycle set. And mm. being my family, we're avid bicycle. You ride, you ride a bicycle, Joe? I want to start this spring. You should. I think I'll join you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a fleet of bikes to I have a loaner you can use. And I have one for your wife, too. You're the best. <laughs> Joe, that's, what, that's what I do, buddy. All right. This is the 39-piece uh, bicycle set. And what's nice about this is you can throw this in your backpack if you're a mountain biker or if you have a little tool tool spot on your bike. I have a little 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 a little bag I put I bring with me, you know. And we carry this because with this little set here, you can do you can do just about everything on a bicycle. It's got sockets, five and a half millimeter, six millimeter. 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13. That's what you're going to find on a bicycle. And then it also... Where's the little release thing for this? I go. Okay. It has all these bits. Every bit that you're going to find on a bicycle, which is a, there's a lot of Allen keys on a bicycle, they're there. Or Torx, they're there. Phillips head, they're there. So everything's going to be there. Don't mind us, Nick. You just come on in and uh, pick up lunch. We'll stop the show. That's right. Okay. 39-piece bit. Everything on a bicycle will be here in your hand. You're going to say, well, I need, a, I need a ratchet. They gave you one. I need a screwdriver. They gave you one. 
What if I'm home and I, and I, and I want to use my little, my little cordless impact? They gave the adapter for that too. They thought of everything. Because this is a German company. And Germans, you know what Germans do? They think of everything. Okay? They do, Joe. You don't agree? Go ahead. Joe wants to say something. Say what? What's up guys, Joe here for another 20 seconds and uh, I was praying the other day and I realized that we need more people today to be like people from the Bible, like the people in the Bible stories, you know, because I think the spiritual truths of those stories aren't being understood fully today and, and they're not even really being talked about today. And, you know, what made me think of this is I started reading a new book about Johnny Cash called The Salvation of an American Icon. And I'm realizing that the story of his life is almost like a roadmap for everyone and anyone who thinks that they are too far from redemption or God's forgiveness or a relationship with God. You know, he hung out with sinners, he prayed with saints, he went from prison cell blocks to like doing crusades with Billy Graham, you know? And he was kind of, to me, uh, like a modern day Apostle Paul, you know? He, he recognized that he was the chiefest of all sinners, but he still drew near to God and he still stood on the solid rock of Christ. So I think, He's a good person in today's society that we can look towards that, you know what, we do make mistakes, but God still loves us and God will still redeem us. That's what Jesus died for. So I hope you take that with you this week and I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I'm sure I'll see you again before the week's over because we got a lot of good stuff coming your way. All right, God bless you guys and talk to you soon. Okay, anyway. So this is a great set. This is $99. It, it just goes to call it a bicycle set. You can put it anywhere. You can put it in your car. You can put it in your, your, in your drawer next to your refrigerator. You got $150,000 in tools. Your wife tells you to take the handle off the, the, the refrigerator. You can't do it. But now you can. $99. Take it home with you. It'll change your life. Okay. Now we've been selling a lot of these ATD five-piece roll pin punches. Okay? A lot of them. So I, I looked at them and I'm like, let me, let me do the lay down shot. They, like the, people want the, they want the smoke. It's five pieces. It's inexpensive. It's, it's $20. But it's five pieces. So it goes eighth, five thirty seconds, three sixteenths, quarter, and five sixteenths. I mean, ATD's got more money than I got. Trust me. They could have found a better package. Well, the problem with this plastic is you're going to use it a couple times, it's going to rip and get dirty. Right? They didn't think that one through too much. But I did. It's a good tool. And a good price. But I think we, I think we can do better. So I was uh, on the, the tool interweb looking for stuff to bring in. And we always try to find nice, fun, ex cool stuff. But stuff we use every day. And I found... What I call the GD Tico Roll Pin Punch. I didn't get my name put on it because it would have been a, it would have been a, like a six month wait. So I brought them in like this. The next generation, we're gonna have our name on them because I, I didn't want to wait. I wanted to bring them in. And this set is thirty nine dollars. And this is a nine piece set, and it's got a real nice quality to it. It's knurled. Look at that. They did a really nice job with these. They really really did. And it's nine piece. It's nine pieces. And this one goes from 8th, 5, 564, 330 seconds, 8th, 530 seconds, oh, yeah, that wasn't, 564, sorry guys, 530 seconds, 316, 730 seconds, quarter, and 516th. And on, most of you guys are mechanics and know how to use this or why do we use these. My nephew's an electrician, he asked his, why is there a little titty on there? And I said, it's a roll pin punch. So why do you need that? And the reason why you need that is, if you're taking out a roll pin punch, it's, hollow and if you use the regular punch you have a good chance of bending it and increasing it and then it's going to get jammed in whatever you are trying to drive it out of here and it's going to be frustrating and aggravate you when you use the right tool for the right job it's got the little titty in there and that's going to go into the opening and let it stay in one piece as you drive it through smart pretty cool pretty cool idea i didn't know that well joe that's why we're going to teach you how to be the best tool guy out there little by little Okay? I believe it, it. It takes, Joe, things take time. Things take time, Joe. But you know what the good news is? I got plenty of time. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? I'm not throwing mine because I like mine. And I just wanted to like bring these out because we sell a lot of these. It, it, this is the uh, Steelman 
locking lug set, and it's sixty-five dollars. And it's I don't know how many pieces. I don't know how many pieces it is. It's a lot. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, hang on, wait there. They don't tell you? No. No. Let me, let me count for you guys. Sixteen piece. <laughs> Sixteen piece locking lug set. And what this is, this is this is for aftermarket lugs. Okay. So anything, any kind of aftermarket lug that comes into your shop would and should be in here. Factory wheel locks is a whole different su subject that we do sell them also and they're a little pricey and confusing. And if this is in your t toolbox and a car comes in, instead of digging through somebody's dirty, disgusting, nasty car, you have the whole set right here. Okay, and that's smart. And again, this is $65. We have a very good aggressive price on these. And this is one of JDT goes best selling tools and remember guys if it says steelman on it they made tools for everybody everybody all the big guys this is a very big company and if you know you know and again if a car comes in with a wheel lock on it it's probably going to be in here it'll save you time and make you money instead of digging looking for the key it's in your box ready to go okay so i broke the little tab here because let me just do a quick repair job, guys. It'll take me a second. 65 bucks in stocks. And last but not least, and I should, I mean, I, I last minute I grabbed these, and this is called the JD Tickle Sprang Thing. And there's a couple, a couple companies that make these, and now we do too. And hey, Joe, real quick, globally sourced? Assembled in America. Assembled in America. Here we go, ready? Joe, real quick. Globally sourced, assembled in America. I can say that, right? Yeah. Because this is made in America. And I assembled it myself. I did this. So guess what? You already know it. Okay. And these are very convenient to have. And everybody, everybody and their mother seems to be making them these days. That means the patent clearly must be off. And it's just a two-piece spring thing. And I have nothing to hit. But you would just go like that. And it's got one million pounds of force or 10,000, whatever it is. And it's got the center punch right here, too. And these are very very nice and what's nice about mine is if you buy any other brand without packaging they're gonna be scattered all over you're not gonna know where they are so what i did because i'm smart i'm genius is i had these made and that way when you open your toolbox up you'll know exactly where they are you can't miss the green that's why jd2 does green guys oh sorry joe i didn't see i didn't see the elephant in the room it's a pretty big elephant, Chief. Pretty big elephant, right? I think so. And this is it. And I, and I, I'm the, one of the main reasons why I'm doing these is because just to, just to show you the diversity we have. This is a sledgehammer. This is twelve pounds. This is one hundred dollars. That's a fairly good price considering I have to ship it, and you're not going to find a better price anywhere in the world because that's why I bought them. So I knew I can get aggressive pricing. And rumor has it this is an American company. And I don't know where this one's made in America or somewhere made in India at this point. But Home Depot apparently is taking S Wing out of out of their stores. So they're probably gonna go to they're probably gonna one of the one of the hundred companies that Home Depot owns, and they're just gonna slap their name on it and sell you something out of China. So before you before you can't, you know, get some East Wing cameras because hopefully they will be able to stick around in the crazy world of I'm trying to find where the they it's on a bag. I took the bag off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It might be. I, I don't know where it's made. Hey, Joe, I got an idea. Scroll it. Could you scroll where it's made? We I got think it. I think it's India or Mexico, but not China. Hundred bucks, free shipping, in stock. I bought a pallet of these, and let me tell you something. The forklift had a hard time taking a pallet of these off the truck because you know why? These are heavy. All right, guys, listen to me. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment below if you think I should change my... Uh, format. My format again. Because this doesn't work. I'm going straight into selling the... Uh... Hey, guys, like we always say, come for the price.